Do you guys have a PlayStation 5 and want to know exactly how to stream from your PlayStation 5 without a capture card to YouTube or Twitch? Well, I'm going to show you guys exactly a step-by-step, -step, in-depth look on how to stream from your PlayStation 5. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and don't forget to hit that post notification bell so you do not miss an update, upload, or a live stream. Also, check out my social medias, Instagram, TikTok, Twitch, Twitter, all at Jack Knight Finnegan. Much appreciated. So, guys, we are talking today about the share button. The share button on your controller is located in the upper left corner, right next to your mouse pad on the controller. If you click that, you're going to see this menu come up right here. And if you scroll over it to where it says broadcast, it's not going to let you broadcast because you got to have a game selected. So always make sure you have a game selected before you go to broadcast. Once you have your game running, hit the share button once again. As soon as you hit the share button and go to broadcast, you're going to see that it will now allow you to stream to your channel. Now, I did do a stream where I streamed directly from the PlayStation 5. I will link that above in the description in one of the cards. Feel free to check that stream out because it was very smooth and very nice. And that's more of an in-depth look on how the stream will look when you stream from the PlayStation 5. But here you got the options, guys. You have Go Live. It has my YouTube channel, Jack Knight Finnegan. And you got the title, you know, Grand Theft Auto 5. It's always the last title that you had in here before. So you're going to have to change that every time. Your description and your tags. Now this is just a setup for your stream on YouTube. You can change it now and then you hit go live and it will go live without a capture card, Streamlabs or any of that stuff. It will go live directly to your uh, YouTube or Twitch from the PlayStation. But before you go live, make sure you click these three dots right here and go to broadcast options. Now here you can toggle between your camera. You can install a camera and you can go from there and work on that. Now, display chat, one thing that you might notice from the PlayStation 4 when you went live, it had your chat on the right hand of the screen, and it cut off some of your gameplay and some of your, um, it cut off a lot of your gameplay and, and your stream, but this time, guys, if you do display chat, only you can see it. Only you can see it. So, it will show up to wherever you put it, and only you will see it, and no one else will see it. So, it's pretty cool um, because it'll allow you to read the chat in real time and you don't have to worry about taking up part of your, your screen display activity means if uh your view count so however many viewers are watching you that's what that means so if you got both of these checked it's going to show the chat only to you and the display activity will be broadcast to you and your audience and the overlay position, the overlay thing, guys, all that is is your chat and your display activity. So if you put your overlay on to center right or, you know, wherever you want to put it, you don't have to worry about it because it's not going to take up your screen on YouTube or Twitch. Because like I said, you're only going to see the chat yourself, but the display activity will be broadcasted to you and your audience. Now you can also include voice chat audio. That is completely up to you. And you got video quality. This is your video quality. You can do uh, 1080 at 60 frames, 1080 at 30 frames, 720 at 60 frames, 720 at 30 frames. So depending on your internet and what you got going, these you might want to test and see what happens. Um, you know, you might want to run it at 60 frames at 720. Or you could try going for the 1080 at 30. Uh, 1080 at 60 frames. I did that when I streamed. I had no problems. I did that with Grand Theft Auto 5. Like I said, that will be in the cards above. So feel free to check that stream out. Where I also used the PlayStation controller as a microphone in a couple instances. Just to see how it sounded. But yeah, that is exactly how you do it. And then also, don't forget, you can change your... You go here, back there, you can change your service. Now, the services, all they got is Twitch and YouTube. They do not have Facebook gaming or any other service. So, all they got is Twitch and YouTube for right now. Right now, I am linked to YouTube because I primarily use my YouTube, but I do have a Twitch as well. But this is all you got to do. Boom, boom. Link it, and you're good to go. And then hit broadcast. Boom. Set all your stuff up. Go live. 
and you are set. If this video helped you guys out, please leave a like. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that post notification bell so you do not miss an update, upload, or a live stream. With that being said, I hope you guys have a great day. I'm out of here. Peace.